Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we've got some more news to go over about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Pokemon Home and Pokemon Unite. So a lot of stuff to go over today. If you are excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. 500 likes is always the target. Thank you all so much for the support on the news videos. I really, really do appreciate it. Make sure to drop a comment as well with your thoughts about everything we go over in today video and subscribe if you're brand new we keep you up to date with everything to do with pokemon so obviously ring that notification bell so you don't miss a thing with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and take a look at the latest pokemon news so starting things off we have some news about pokemon brilliant diamond and pokemon shining pearl this is given from melka who was obviously the owner of pokey experto and they noticed something very interesting happening on the old Pokemon Korea YouTube channel. They tweet out saying the official Pokemon Korea channel has created a Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl playlist today. This was on the 17th of June though, this is the 20th today, but three days ago, basically. It could be the preparation of new information soon. So as you can see, this is the playlist on the Korea YouTube channel for Pokemon. And if you go to the actual Korea YouTube channel, as you can see, it is right there. Uh, they also obviously have one Pokemon Unite. And then I think that's Cafe Mix. I think the big Cafe Mix thing just came out as well. They were always going to do like some massive um, update to that game. And that happened. And, and obviously we got Pokemon Unite. So we're just waiting for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Again, a lot of people are expecting a Pokemon Presents happening this next week. It could happen. Again, this is another indication that that might happen as well. Like they're updating the playlist now. They usually do that when new videos are about to go live. Obviously, there isn't a video in the playlist because it would say like private video or something like that. And at the moment, the trailer for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is the only video in the playlist but they may have just not uploaded it yet they might just be getting the playlist ready it was updated three days ago so we'll have to wait and see what happens there but uh yeah like i say this is usually something they do when uh new content is about to come out for the games again we've just had loads of stuff about unite we've got the release date of that now we have cafe mix we obviously um we, we obviously have nothing in the nintendo e3 direct so a lot of things are pointing to next week to be the pokemon presents now last year on thursday we obviously got the pokemon unite release we had two presents like last week and this week and this upcoming week last year if that makes any sense and we've had obviously none this year so yeah maybe next thursday is a good date to kind of give us a pokemon presents and uh hope that we obviously get something about brilliant diamond and shining pearl and legends arceus it's just been totally it's been so long now we've been we're, we're, we're just we, we just want some information, you know, it's too hard to ask. But uh, yeah, obviously shout out to Melka for noticing this. Will be linked in the description down below. I'll definitely be keeping my eye on this. If there is like a private video or something on the playlist uploaded, then it kind of guarantees that you're going to be getting some information soon. It, like I said, if there's a private video in the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, uh, Pearl playlist, it kind of it, it gives you an indication that there's going to be some new information soon. Anyway, that's the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl stuff. Next up, we're going over the Pokemon Home stuff. Now, of course, we did go over this. Last Thursday, there was an update. This is now available. You can download it. You can go and check all this stuff out. You can go get your free Bulbasaur and Squirtle, which are G-Max Pokemon. This is Poke Experto tweeting out, saying you can now access Pokemon Home. Once you have updated to version 1.4.0, Bulbasaur and Squirtle with Gigantamax forms are also available in the app. So, yeah, I don't know if you can get them through the mobile or the Pokemon Home version app on the Switch, but either way, you can get your free Bulbasaur and Squirtle, which can both Gigantamax. I think they have like 30 IVs in every stat as well, which is a little bit annoying, really, because why wouldn't they be 31? I don't know. That's what I haven't got mine yet, but people have told me that it's got like 30 IVs and everything. I, need, I still need to get mine. I already have GMAX, Venusaur, and Blastoise. I'm not really in any rush because I don't need them. But uh, yeah, if you do need them, go get them. They're available now. Um, so that's uh, obviously the first part of Pokemon Home stuff. This is the other stuff that obviously is, is all live with that new update. Uh, the capture calendar is available in Pokemon Home. You can sort the Pokemon by capture date and filter by EO and Pokemon. You can create anniversaries and see the Pokemon collected on those days. Again, this is all live. I mean, I mean, I do like the fact that Bulbasaur and Squirtle come in a Cherish Ball. Because like, that's my favorite Pokeball. And whenever... Because it, it's so difficult to get, you only get Cherish Ball through like events and stuff. So 
yeah, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I will get them for that. But obviously, the shiny gibbles there, I guess this is like a reference to Pokemon Go or something, maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, 6 of the 6, 2021, I think that was Gibble Community Day. And then 17 of the 6 is um, obviously when it all went live. And then this is just some more pictures as well. Again, it's just a really cool, like, new features coming out for Pokemon Home that just make it all look nicer and make it easier to kind of decipher what you're really looking for. And then obviously we have this as well, which is another update in Pokemon Home. Um, so the Pokemon Viewer is now available in Pokemon Home. So you can zoom, move, rotate, and touch it to make a move. There are several. So yeah, basically like it's actually a massive update if you think about it. Because every single Pokemon that's in Pokemon Home, you can now like rotate and stuff and zoom in and get some really cool poses as well, like of all the Pokemon. So it's actually a massive update. I don't think people understand how big this update is. Uh, you can change the background color of the viewer and then uh, access from the Pokedex by touching the upper right icon. So, yeah, again, I think people are just sleeping on this update because that's like, that's a lot of work. Every single Pokemon you can like now rotate and actually take like proper look at and stuff and you can touch them and they do like an action and stuff like that like Lucario is. Yeah, I think people are sleeping on this update, really. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the Pokemon Home portion of today's video. We're finishing off with this part of the uh, the video with Pokemon Unite. Um, so, obviously, massive announcement the other day. Got the release date, got loads of new gameplay. Um, loads of new, like, well, not new characters, but we've got, like, an in-depth guide on all the characters and stuff. And what we can expect to see. you got, like, your attackers, your defenders, your speedsters, your all-rounders, your your bulky mons and everything like that really really cool really excited for it. it's coming out in july on the switch and it's coming out in september on mobile but experto tweeted out saying timi studios hasn't wasted any time since the pokemon unite beta we leave you some examples of small graphical improvements from the beta to the promotional images this week so i'm guessing yeah th th this this left side is the beta that obviously people in canada got to play um i think it went somewhere else as well i'm not sure if it was in china or japan i can't remember but I, obviously as as we know like throughout the year they have been giving the beta to different countries and stuff to to play and then obviously give feedback to and stuff so yeah this is the left side i think is the beta and then this is the right side of like what it looks like in the promotional kind of videos and stuff so i mean it's, it's hard to tell obviously these are zoomed in i don't know if that's a thing now or they're just zoomed in but i don't know if i can't really tell a massive difference maybe I mean, I guess you can actually, yeah, there's actually a bit of a difference to be fair. They actually look a lot nicer. And it says the edges of the Pokemon are more defined and the, and the effects of the attacks more successful. So yeah, they, they've basically been making the game look nicer, which is really cool. Um, but that's not the only thing that I did want to say. Um, now, obviously on the 24th of June to the 26th of June, there is another beta in Japan, but this time it isn't for mobile, it's actually for the Nintendo Switch, which makes it a lot easier to play. So basically, anybody, anywhere can play this beta, even though it is just only for Japan. Now, the way to do this is you have to make a Japanese Nintendo online account, and then you can basically just go into the um, into the eShop, and you can just download the beta there on the 24th when it does go live in Japan. So it's actually super, super simple. I might make a video on how to do it, but I think there's going to be loads of instructions on how to do it anyway. Now, the only problem with this, though, is I don't know if you're allowed to stream it, because I really wanted to, but I know that in the Canada beta, you weren't really allowed to have any gameplay or anything uploaded to anywhere. So unfortunately, I don't know if you're going to be able to stream it. Otherwise, I will do that. But yeah, I do not know. But yeah, it's going to be really cool to be able to play Pokemon Unite this weekend uh i'm really really excited i'm really excited for this game and the trailer really just made me even even more excited for it so um yeah just just a heads up if i find out like a really really good guide or anything i'll just link that in like the video i'll, I'll go I'll, I'll make a video going over it or something and, or, and, and link the guide and stuff as well as like other news or whatever that's happening on that day but yeah pokemon unite beta is happening next weekend um in japan but a lot of people can download it now because on the switch it's a lot easier to have an account in that like location than on the mobile you have to like do loads and loads of different things or whatever but yeah pokemon unite beta this week at, well next weekend in japan but pretty much anyone can play it um really excited but yeah that is pretty much going to be everything for today's video if you guys did enjoy as always make sure to drop a like down below leave a comment subscribe if you're brand new what do you think about all the stuff we went over do you think this indicates new information for brilliant diamond shining pearl soon i i think it could I, i'm still very confident we'll get news next week if we don't get anything next week then i don't know I honestly do not know. Like la next week is like the last, the last stand, the last hopeful breath of air that we might get. Brilliant, down and shining pearl stuff, and then obviously 
go uh, download the Pokemon Home, everything like that. Get your free Bulbasaur Squirrel, all that good stuff. But that's going to be everything for today's video, though. Hope you guys did enjoy. Again, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.